It's still pretty amazing to me that you can knit a diamond just by using short rows. It's a lot faster than trying to knit one with intarsia, and because one needle is brought forward every row, it is self-wrapping. Bonus. This is how the diamond works. I start off by knitting a few rows on all needles and stop with the carriage on the right-hand side. Then I make the first background quadrant by ever decreasing shorter rows until there are only a few needles left in work on the right. With the carriage on the right again, I cancel the rustle or hold levers or bring needles halfway back and knit all the way across to the left. Now I make the second background quadrant as a mirror image of the first one. Now I can start to make the diamond shape. I leave the background color on the left hand side and pick up the diamond color, carry it over to the middle needle and start making increasingly longer and longer rows in the middle until I've matched the background. At this point, half the diamond is made and the knitting is completely balanced. Now on to knit the second half of the diamond, working shorter and shorter rows until I'm just down to the center needle again. The carriage is on the left, so I pick up the background color and make the third quadrant. When that is complete, I cancel hold or bring all needles halfway back and knit across to the right. Now I can knit the final quadrant. Then cancel hold and knit on all needles. Clever, right? Let's do it on the machine. I've started with a few rows of blue and now I'm ready to knit the first wedge. I have an odd number of needles in work, in this case 27. So there'll be a central needle, which will be the start of the diamond, and 13 needles each side. I set the carriage for hold and bring the 14 needles on the left into hold position. Knit one row, bring one more needle forward and knit back. I repeat this until only four needles are left in working position on the right hand side. Then I cancel hold and knit all the way across. Now I bring 14 needles on the right into hold, set my rustle levers again and mirror what I did before. After I've knit the last four needles, I bring them into hold and move the center needle into upper working position. I change to white and bring that yarn up over the held needles on the left and down on the left hand side of the center needle and knit across. Then bring one needle each side of the center needle halfway back and knit a row. Repeat this until only four needles are left in hold each side.
that's the first half of the diamond. To knit the second half, I bring one needle each side back into hold each row until just the center needle is left in work. It might help to add a claw weight as the diamond's growing. I set the carriage for a free pass and take it over to the left where the blue yarn is waiting. Bring the center needle back to hold and the four needles on the left halfway back. With the blue yarn, knit one row, then bring the next needle halfway back. Repeat until 13 needles are in work and the carriage is on the left. I brought another needle halfway back but I didn't need to because now I cancel hold and knit across all needles. Then repeat on the other side completing the diamond. Hello again. That was one of the videos from our latest class, Short Rows. Such a huge subject. We cover everything from how to use short rows in garment shaping, how to make three dimensional shapes, how to use short rows to get all kinds of crazy ferals and stripes, how to use short rows instead of intarsia to get argyle and diamond effects so much to learn about short rows. So go check out that class and our existing classes at www.thenittingschool.online.